Hi, this is John from LogicProX.net, and in this video, I'm just going to give you a brief review of Logic Pro X versus version 9. I know that a lot of professionals out there saw what happened with Final Cut Pro, how they totally, totally revamped and rethought how video editing should be done, and it really upset a lot of serious video professionals. I was watching that and I became really concerned because you know, I've been mixing on Logic for Pro for about four or five years and I depend heavily on it. And I was kind of scared that that was going to happen to Logic Pro. And, you know, I knew an update should be coming. It's been a long time due. And after working with Logic Pro for three days now and just messing around with it, I can tell you that it is absolutely a great upgrade. It's not dumbed down in any way. Um, it's a. It seems to be snappier and work a lot more fluidly. Um, I don't know what they've done to the source code. Um, they certainly have changed the look of it quite a bit. Basically, they've moved some things around, like the transport bars up here, um, different look to the interface, a little darker. There are, sure, there's some new features. There's the drummer and flex pitch, which is actually really cool. Um, and I'm sure there's tons more. But my main concern was, will it will it open my old projects? And can I do everything I used to be able to do? Now, some things I've run into, um, very minor. But, you know, for the most part, I am very, very pleased with Logic Pro X. I think it's awesome step forward. And I highly recommend that you upgrade and go ahead and get rocking with it. And I think you'll be very, very happy. That's just a quick, quick overview from someone who uses Logic Pro quite a bit. And I hope you find it helpful. Look forward to seeing you in the other videos.